Welcome back everyone and I just want to apologize for not uploading anything um, in I think it was about two weeks. Um, trying to get motivation to make videos is difficult at best and don't worry uh, Lays, your P51 uh, video will be um, coming up. It's just, you know, playing at such high uh, battle rating when you're so used to the speed instantly dropping back down to a p51 um yeah you, you can definitely feel the difference in speed performance and stuff like that so i have to relearn how to like essentially play those vehicles again uh but don't worry your your video will be showing up in today's video however we have well two different planes but three different uh, replays two of the same airplane but anyways uh the first one we have is from the super 22 uh which is the squadron vehicle for the russians and from the longest time this was my well my grinding aircraft rather than you know the super a7 which is just a glorified um strike aircraft it, it, that's that the best way to say it. Uh, with the Sukhoi 7, you don't even have enough bombs to take out a base. But that thing does, you know, you do what it's advertised. <sighs> take a sip of my coffee. Um, so with the Sukhoi 22 here, I'm running the two R60s with the eight Fab 500 missiles, uh, not missiles, but bombs. So with the R60s, they are a real aspect only uh, inf uh, IO missile, meaning that you have to get a lock from the heat signature of the plane, i.e. the engines and the afterburner. So if the enemy is smart, they can cut off the afterburner, pop flares, and your missile will pretty much just go for the flares. Or if they don't really want to cut off their afterburner, pop some flares, the R60s will still go after the flares. And so, out of the box, stock, this plane gets two R60s off the bat. Um, I know with the previous um, video, you guys really liked how I was um, kind of sort of breaking down what I was trying to do. But with, with a strike aircraft, it's pretty much you fly to a base, you drop your bombs, and if you can try to get some kills, you can try to get some kills. Those n n not really much to uh, comment. Um, with the Sukhoi 22, it does have the wing sweep, which does give it a bit more of an edge while it's wanting to turn, especially at lower speeds. Um, th but this thing is a bus. Uh, it's a. I think this is an export variant of the Sukhoi 7. Or the Sukhoi 17, I should say. Sorry, the Sukhoi 17. This is a export variant of the Sukhoi 17. So essentially, this is just a Sukhoi 17. Uh, we see an A10 there, assuming that he's a late variant because this Sukhoi 17, uh, Sukhoi 22, sorry, is 11.0. So we go in. He files his AIM-9L. I cut off my afterburner, put some more flares, and the AIM-9L just goes after the flails instead so that's always good we come in we drop a bomb we see an now a10 and we just popped an out flail and now we're completely out you might be saying well why did you just do that because i don't know if there's now a 9 l coming out my booty hole um so we come in we pop an l60 and we pop the air brakes trying to bleed some speed but there's a10 late as no fool sees that we're coming up and he popped his own flares. We see a Jaguar once again. We try to go in for a head on and no dice there. We see a Helio trying to come up and yeah, there's the A10 late with his A9L. No countermeasures again. Having such limited of 12, it's extremely difficult. So this we play, we have an L1 of the MiG-27 coming up after this as well. But this is the MiG-27M. This is the first variant of the MiG-27 that you can get your hands on in the Russian uh, bomber tree. Which is kind of funny, 
because the MiG-27 is a variant of the MiG-23 uh, jet interceptor that the Russians made. And with the Russians, they wanted um, to expand the close air support um, roles of the aircraft, so that is why the MiG-27 was kind of sort of born. Um, the difference between the 23 and the 27 is its nose. As you can see, there was a lot more um, steep. Um, it's because this plane has no radar, as you guys can see. It, it got rid of its Sapphire radar. And with that being said, it also got rid of its 23mm cannon as well. It got an upgrade of a 30mm rotary cannon, though. And it gets 100 more rounds. But you can say, well, it has 100 more rounds than the 23, therefore, it's a lot better when it wants to, you know, go on for those gun engagements. You could be right, but you also be wrong. Um, with the 30mm rotary cannon of 300 rounds, this rotary cannon can fire up to 3,000 rounds per minute. Meaning that um, you don't have much ammunition. Um, and now, notable difference is the uh, MiG-27 here is also, you know, um, a strike aircraft. Well, it's not designated as a strike aircraft, it's designated as a jet fighter, but its role in War Thunder here is a uh, close air support vehicle. I uh, got a little spooked there by the uh, in-game AA. I never really get shot by in-game AA with this close in, but whatever. Uh, with the MiG-27, I do carry the uh, five Fab 500 bombs, which is one extra than you, you, know, you need to take out a base. And the thing I love about these type of aircraft is this is a jet interceptor at a heart. A jet interceptor that has been retrofitted to do close air support work. But as soon as you drop your bombs, this thing just wants to turn back into its roots, which is a jet interceptor. So just like the A5C, I love those kind of planes because with the A5C, as soon as you shed off the bombs, you essentially turn into a um, Chinese MiG-19 with two magic missiles. So we prop an R60M and the F4J uh, turns in nicely done. And yeah, this thing gets four or 60 M's. Well, the um, nice little butt there to the Phantom. Well, the Sukhoi 22 gets or 60s. And that is no reason why I love this plane is because it gets or 60 M's, which are a lot better with the versatile and flexibility of the aircraft. Also, this vehicle or this plane it's 72 countermeasures, just like the MiG-23 MLD. So, you have a bit more of uh, the countermeasure survivability over the Sukhoi-22. The Jaguar there tries to go for a head-on pass. The F-4E comes in. Again, extremely bad marksmanship there. Popping some flares once again because I see there's an F-4J behind me. And I do not want to get a missile up my booty hole. But there was a Jaguar once again wanting to come and finish off his work. Replay number two of the MiG 27M. Um, I am walking towards the uh, the MiG 27K. So if you guys want to see a comparison video of the K versus the M, let me down in the comments down below. And uh, the reason why I did this video to begin with, comparing the Sukhoi 22 with the 27, is because one of my close friends ask me, can you grind out to get the MiG-27 before I do, so you can give me your thoughts and opinion on the aircraft, which I did. And this is what my uh, conclusion is. Uh, again, this is just 100% my opinion. You guys can take it, you guys can run with it, or you guys can debate it in the comment section down below. But again, this is 100% my own opinion. Um, again, this isn't a um, cookie... Uh, yeah, a uh, cookie cut kind of uh, one fits fits all, but um, out of the box, this MiG twenty seven gets two all thirteen missiles, while the Sukhoi twenty two gets two all sixties. 
but the MiG-27 also gets 20 Fab 100 bombs, which is enough to take out one base. So when you're grinding up the MiG-27, use the 20 Fab 100s, because you're guaranteed to take out one base. Uh, the next bombs you get is the 250, I do believe. Stick with the, uh, the 100s, because the 250s that you get is such an odd number, I, 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 I could never really take out a base by myself. Then you get the 500s. Again, with such an odd number of bomb layout, I think you only get like, what, six? With the uh, 500s? That's enough to kill one base and drop two extras on an L base. Again, such an odd one. So when I was grinding out the 27, I pretty much used the the uh, the Fab 100s until I got the all 60s, all 60M. Sorry, then I switched to the um, Fab 500s because you can carry five of the Fab 500s, which is one extra that you need to take out a base. But again, you can take out a entirety of base plus you have four uh, short range. Um, air to air missiles. So that is my opinion on how to grind out the um, MiG-27, is just run it with the uh, Fab 100s until you get the uh, the R60Ms and then you can uh, pair up the R60Ms with the um, Fab 500 bombs. So now that we completely destroyed that base, as per usual, uh, we have an R60M. We see an F-5C there, an F-8U-2, uh, I think that's a Crusader. We launch a missile against the Crusader. We pop some flares. Luckily, the MiG-21 there flares out. We pop an our 60 m We see that there's an F-4E Phantom. He's really low. He's in a very low energy state, so we butt him with a 30 mil water cannon. Still having the all 60 m prepped, we fire on the Harrier GL-1. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you guys next time.